Good morning, everyone. We're just going to get started here in a few minutes. Um, so just hold on. We're going to try and get as many people as we can in the next couple of seconds, and then we'll get started. Uh, but I want to start with introducing myself. My name is Vedika Anand. Uh, I'm a former NCAA Division I tennis player, and currently I run a fitness page on Instagram. It's called at fit dot with dot ved that's ved short for vedika uh check it out and do give me your feedback uh but anyway thank you all for being here today today we're going to do a very different workout uh i haven't run a session like this before but i think it is important to incorporate this in your uh routine uh because it helps uh with stabilization balance mobility so that's exactly what we're going to be doing we're going to go through an entire mobility routine so similar to what our dynamic stretching looks like or our dynamic warm up looks like that's what our uh, mobility routine is going to look that look like but it's just going to be longer and after we do our mobility piece which is about 11 to 12 exercises we are going to go into uh, stability and balance so we're going to do one like balancing and all that jazz so different type of a workout but i hope you guys enjoy it and before we get started a quick reminder that be limitless classes are on powered by swift and you have an opportunity to win some super cool giveaways by devil circuit you can win an mi fit band a zipper or a t-shirt and all you have to do is follow two simple steps in the comment section tag a friend and like and share the video the more the shares the bigger the chance you have to win all right with that we're going to get started with our mobility and stability because of how the workout is designed there's no uh pre warm up or cool down piece it's just a whole routine of mobility um and the purpose of this is to make sure that your mu muscles are properly mobilized so when you work out you have full range of motion for every exercise all right let's get started All right everyone we are going to get started with our mobility routine for today there's about 11 to 12 exercises and each exercise depending on intensity and the structure of the exercise i let you know how many reps or sets we're doing probably only going to do one set of each but uh we'll see depending on each exercise all right we're going to start with our first exercise for today our first mobility routine exercise is going to be the inchworm and just a quick uh, reminder we're going to do a full body mobility so i'm going to start with like a full body exercise and then we're going to go into starting with our neck all the way down to our feet all right let's get started with some inchworms we're going to go for about 10 inchworms one set and then we we'll move on to our second exercise all right super slow super controlled and then we'll speed up a little bit towards the end of the reps and halfway that's nine last one and then awesome that was our first exercise for the day Moving on to exercise number 2 we're going to start with some neck rotations so let's start clockwise we're going to go about 10 clockwise and then 10 anti clockwise all right full rotations five 6 
and done. Same thing, anti-clockwise. Two, four, halfway, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Next, moving on to our upper body, we're going to do some arm swings again. Let's go for about 20 forward and then 20 backwards. All right, so we're slow and controlled. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Nineteen. And twenty. Same thing, other side. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Nineteen and twenty. We're going to do this one more time and this time a little bit faster. Not too fast, just until um, we get into a good, nice speed. Also, another reminder, uh, you shouldn't feel excessive pain when you're doing these movements. You're mobilizing your body, but just, just about my discomfort is a good space to be in. All right, let's go forward again. 20 reps, a little bit faster. Five. Ten. Fifteen. And twenty. Awesome. Same thing. Back. Five. Fifteen. And 20. Awesome. Next exercise, still working on that upper back. We're going to go lateral arm swing. So I just want you to um, palms facing down, one hand bent, other hand straight, and then move it side to side. And relax. We're going to do this one more time. Just shake it out a little bit. All right. One more time. Let's go 10 reps each side. And go. And 20. Awesome job, guys. Moving on to the trunk and the back area of our body. We're going to get on the ground and do, uh, I think, we have cat camel after this. Okay, cobra and then cat camel. All right. Let's start with the cobra first. Down on the ground. Lie down on your stomach. Hands close to your uh, chest or just underneath your armpits and lift your upper body and hold back down we're going to do about five reps of this back up and 
and back down, up, and down, two more to go, up, and down, last one, up, and down awesome everyone moving on to our next exercise the cat camel love this exercise especially for lower back strengthening um get on all fours and essentially what we're going to do is get into a cat and then a camel position so since the camel has a hump you are going to squeeze um your abdomen inward so you're essentially like in a crunched state uh push everything downwards and then in a cat position we push everything upwards and create an arc in our lower back so let's see how that looks camel and cat so for camel we're looking down and for cat we're looking up and let's do about 10 reps of this Let's start with the camel, looking down and up, back down and up, down and up, that's three, down and up. Four, down, and up, halfway, that's eight. nine and ten awesome everyone take a quick second um rejuvenate get recharged and we're going to move on to our next exercise all right bird dogs another one of my favorite exercises for trunk and uh, essentially core and back stabilization Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna be on all fours and we're going to extend our opposite hand and opposite leg. So let's start with the left hand first and right leg, extend and back. That's one, extend, back. We're gonna go 10 reps each side, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Ten. Awesome job, same thing, other side, 10 reps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. All right, guys, moving on to our lower body. The next exercise that we're going to do is hip circles. So, what we're going to do is stay on all fours again, and I'm going to rotate my hip forward. 
Watch this in a circular motion. So those are our forward hip circles. And we're going to go 10 reps each side and then move on to backward hip circles. All right, let's do that. Nice big circles, full range of motion. Halfway. Nine. And ten. All right, same thing, left side. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, everyone, same thing. Now we're going to go backwards. Ten reps. One, two, Eight, nine, and ten. Same thing, left side, ten reps. Six, seven, eight, nine and ten awesome guys take a second let's um just shake it out i know mobility can be tough for some for some people who uh don't have that mobility uh, that mobility in their body so this is super helpful and important for that and it'll definitely help you uh stay injury free all right Next exercise coming up, glute bridges. Okay, on the ground, knees bent, fists up. We're going to lift our pelvis and hold for a few seconds. Go back down and then do 10 reps. All right, up, hold, two, three, down, and up, hold, two, Three, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, halfway, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, two, three, down, and last one, up, and down. Awesome everyone, still working on our lower body mobility. Next exercise is going to be a squat to hip raise. So what we're going to do is squat down, holding our toes and then lift our hips up to get that stretch in our hamstring and calf muscles. All right, so grab your toes, squat down and lift your hips up. Let's do that 10 times. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, halfway, six, 
seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Awesome. Next exercise, still working on that lower body. Uh, we are going to go into a spider lunge and elbow is going to hit the ground. So, actually let me show you in this angle so it's a little bit easier to watch. But what you're going to do is get into a spider lunge. Spider lunge, elbow on the floor and then back up. So, let's show you side angle ones. Go down, spider lunge, elbow to the ground, extend knee, extend elbow, same thing again, elbow to the ground, extend, we're going to go 10 reps each side. All right, let's get started with the right side, and spider lunge, elbow down, extend, elbow down, Extend, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job everyone, same thing, left side. Spiral lunge, elbow down, extend, down. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome, everyone. Let me just quickly check our next exercise. We'll keep things rolling. All right. Next exercise, we're going to go into a regular lunge and do some side bends. So you're mobilizing uh, the trunk area as well as um, your lower body. All right, we get here, started here in just a second. Okay, let's we'll start with the right side. We're going to lunge and um, probably let's put, let's put our uh, trailing leg on the ground, okay. Right leg lunge, let's put our knee down completely and we're going to bend sideways towards um, our right side. So bend, and feel that stretch on the side of your stomach. It's one, let's go five each side. Two, three, four, and last one, five, same thing, left side, bend, one, two, three, four, And five. All right, we're starting to get into our split stability work. Also mobility, but um, requires some stability as well. Uh, this is gonna be like an inverted hamstring stretch or a hamstring movement. So what we're going to do is same arm, same leg. Lift your right knee and extend both arm and leg together and lean forward. Now it's going to um, happen that you might get disbalanced, that's fine. Try to focus on a point on the ground or in front of you. 
Um, and if you're not able to balance, uh, don't extend as much. All right, watch this. And extend. And back. So what we're going to do is five reps each side. Let's get started with the right side. Same arm, same leg. Extend. Back. That's one. Two. Three. Four, and last one. And five. Awesome, everyone, same thing. Left side, same arm, same leg. And extend. And back. Back. Three, four, and five. Great job, everyone. Next, we are going to go into some stability work, mainly stability work. We're going to catch a quick sip of water and we're going to get started. All right, I see a lot of people commenting and sharing. Uh, that's awesome. Keep doing that. It's going to give you an opportunity to win some super cool giveaways. Uh, so keep liking and sharing the video and uh, comment uh, and tag a friend in the comment section. All right, everyone. Let's work on some stability. We're going to start with uh, single leg holds. We're just going to balance on our right leg and then move on to our left. Let's go for about 30 seconds each side. All right, right side first. And we are up. Try to focus on a point on the ground. It'll help you stabilize your body. Keep holding. I think I lost you all. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Let's do that one more time. All right. Right leg again, starting now. Keep holding. All right, and switch left leg. Keep holding. And relax. Awesome, everyone. We're going to do this one more time, but this time you're going to do it with your eyes closed. Uh, I have to keep track of time, so I will have my eyes open, but I encourage you to try and close your eyes and do this. Something that will really help, focus on the bottom of your foot as a tripod. Think about it as a tripod with three um, legs. So make sure all three legs are firmly on the ground. So uh, the two points right here on top of your foot and your heel, the ball of your foot, make sure all three points are firmly on the ground. It will help you balance. All right, let's get started. Uh, try to close your eyes for this one. 30 seconds each side, starting with the right side now.
Awesome, and switch. Keep holding. And relax. Awesome job, everyone. Last change of the day. We are going to try and do this in a quarter squat position. So right now we were standing straight and doing a one leg uh, stability movement. Now we're going to sort of be in like a quarter squat position um, and try to do the same thing. Again, 30 seconds each side and we end with that for today. Let's get started. All right, let's go with the right leg first. I'm going to move to the side so you can see uh, the angle better. And we are up. Keep holding and relax. Same thing, left side. Keep holding. And relax. All right, everyone, that brings us to the end of today's workout. All right, everyone, I know that was simple and um, it, did, it wasn't a high intensity workout, which is what most of you enjoy. But it's important to focus on your mobility and stability. So I thought I'd do something different today. So I hope you appreciated that and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next week. A uh, quick reminder that Be Limitless classes are on and you have an opportunity to win some super cool giveaways from Double Circuit, uh, which include an MI Fit Band, a Sippo and a T-shirt. And all you have to do is like and share the video and in the comment section, tag a friend. Um, and with that, thank you again. Stay safe, stay healthy and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.